What's up guys, this is Mark from Top Level Cards. Today we have a sort of different video that I normally do. Um, so originally I had plans with my friend, uh, but he canceled on me and my girlfriend already had plans. She went out to do something else. So I decided instead of just sitting home by myself doing nothing, uh, let's go out shopping. So I'm gonna take you along, go some targets, See if I can find some basketball, baseball, Pokemon cards. So yeah, let's go. So this is the first target that I went to. As you can see, not a whole lot. They have a uh, magic cards, a uh, little Ryan right there. I mean, that's about it. Uh, they did have a uh, female soccer, but as for cards, that was it. I mean, they had the books for uh, Panini stickers. Uh, not really interested in those. Bunch of Funko Pops, but yeah, this one was pretty dry. Nothing really there. I don't know. I thought. Pokemon was like in abundance right now, but um, yeah, from looking at the store, you couldn't tell. So we'll see if the market has picked up. People are starting to buy cards again. I'm not too sure. So this is uh, the game aisle, board game aisle. I'm trying to find a board game to take to my uh, friend's house. She, she wanted to have board game night. Uh, this one caught my eye, the Fast and Furious. Highway Heist. I don't know if it's like some strategy game or something. I'm not sure. Look pretty cool. Um, almost bought it, but I'll probably look at on YouTube, see if some people have like some reviews before I buy it. But yeah, um, leave a comment in the just leave a comment below. Tell me what what board game I should buy. So this is the second one, second Walmart that I went to. As you can see, basically the same thing. Not a whole bunch of stuff. Some Yu-Gi-Oh. They had NASCAR uh, value packs. This is like two packs in one. I think it was like $8. And of course they have magic cards, but that's about it. This is the third one. Again, nothing, only magic. Uh, no Pokemon, no basketball, no baseball pretty dry out there so I decided to check out the game aisle or the basically like the figure aisle this is like by electronics so you see they have the I think this is like 11 inch Bulbasaur silver uh, they have some kind of cool stuff that's a Hello Kitty USA Gymnastics they had like gymnastics and uh, basketball Funko Pop See more and more Franco Pops. They had a uh, pretty cool, there's a Spider-Man. Oh, this is a USA Basketball David Robinson. Yeah, that's a Spider-Man, that's a die cast. So that was pretty cool. They had some more um, uh, Iron Man Funko Pops. There's Stan Lee. This one was pretty cool. This is a art edition, Captain America. like nine dollars see there there's a um, LeBron James and uh, Bugs Bunny Funko Pop duo there's a spectral reader or something whatever from Ghostbusters So this is the, I believe this is the third target. They have a uh, Magic the Gathering, like a gift edition. Um, but I checked on eBay, actually eBay selling it cheaper than Target is in the store. So I decided not to get that. I've been 
trying to find something for my friend. He collects a lot of magic. There's Yu-Gi-Oh right there. But I decided not to get that one. They had some uh, two packs for hockey. And they did have the stars and rookies. They had three boxes. And then to the right, they have uh, Panini football stickers. But I decided to pass on those. They did have, uh, these are binders. So this is a binder with a jumbo card in it. Small binder. And they also have this. So this is uh, what caught my eye. I, I never saw this before, so I decided to um, check this out. This is a three pack, so three jumbo cards and two packs in it. And they call it like a trainer deck or something. Never saw those before. The first time I saw those. So this is a four target. Ugh, this one, same thing, nothing. Magic and uh, those same female like soccer cards. No sleeves, no top loaders. I have a slinky right there. Slinky used to be 99 cents. These are probably this. I don't know. I don't know the price, but. It's probably like five bucks. Some more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's about it. These are the same uh, NASCAR two pack. So always check the uh, toy section. You never know if they separate it. Sometimes they keep like the Pokemon just in one area or they put the sports cards in another area. So this is me going to the back of the store, checking out the toy section. See there's another Bugs and the LeBron. Some uh, Ninja Turtles, some figures, a lot of Funko Pops. Some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, got some Ninja Turtles, Donatello and Raphael. They, they did have some uh, Panini sticker books, but uh, no stickers, no cards. This one's pretty cool. USA Basketball, Scotty Pippen. It's a Target exclusive. Next to it, they have uh, Venus Williams. If, they, if this was in better condition, I would have bought it. Uh, it would be pretty cool to have a Venus and Serena Funko Pop. I don't really buy Funko Pops anymore. I have a lot of Game of Thrones and couple sports but that's all I have this one caught my eye this is a um, like a blind pack or like blind box or something probably some stupid figures in there with like some cheap little toys ten dollars so decided to pass on that So this is uh, the toy section of that same Target. So in the back, they have uh, electronics, but they also have a toy, like four toy aisles. I always check there because they always separate the Pokemon. Sometimes they have hangers for packs. Uh, I don't know if it's like the vendor that decides where to put what, but yeah, sometimes they have packs there. So always checking everywhere, three places in the store. And I always ask the employee, like, oh, do you guys have sports cards? Like, can you tell me where they are? Most of the time, they're always in the front. So. All right, guys. This is the two uh, Pokemon uh, packs that I got. So in here, you get, like, three, I think, oh, three jumbo cards. Yeah, three oversized game, game cards. And two... 
uh, packs. Uh, I don't know if they have the 25, 25th anniversary symbol on them. Um, but yeah, these are the two I'm going to be giving away. You know, thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching all the videos. And um, yeah, so what the, how you win these, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video, comment down below. I'm going to pick two winners. And yeah, I'll send these to you for saying thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel, watching all my videos, listening to me talk. <laughs> and good luck. Thanks for watching, guys.